So located behind me here, this is the enrollment services area. So these are the folks who would help take your payments. Uh, so if you're, whether you're looking to pay your fees, your tuition, your deposit, whatever it may be, the folks back here, they'd be able to assist you with all of that. Uh, we also have our financial aid office a little bit down the way here. So financial aid is there if you had any questions or concerns about paying for school. So whether it's OSAP, scholarships, awards, bursaries, on-campus jobs, whatever it may be, you can talk to our folks in financial aid as well. Um, and then they can get you all the supports that you need. If you were interested in working on campus, there are a variety of opportunities available to students. So you could, for example, work in enrollment services. You could assist the team here. Um, you could also work in the cafeteria area, the student lounge area, um, or you could be a mature guide, for example. So there's tons of opportunities available for students to work on campus so long as they demonstrate financial need. Another interesting uh, financial aid opportunity is our Weston Scholarship. So the Weston Scholarship um, allows students who are going into certain trades programs to receive significant funding towards um, their tuition, their books, their fees, whatever it may be. Uh, so if you were interested in that specialized trade scholarship, um, I'd highly, look, highly recommend looking online, take a quick Google search and do Weston Scholarship, and you can learn about all the different criteria that's required to qualify for the Weston Scholarship. So this is the Whitby Campus uh, bookstore. So in here, you would find all your textbooks for your courses. One great thing here is that they price match with the Amazon Indigo chapters. So if you're able to find a cheaper price online, you can bring that price in here and they will the price match for you. Also in here is all the Durham College attire you could ever want. So there's t-shirts, sweaters, sweatpants, station like pens, pencils, books, binders, as well as certain PPE. So we also have uh, protective eyewear available for students if you want to um, purchase some when you're here, or you can always bring them from home as well. Alrighty, so this here is our cafeteria. So this is a great place to come, obviously, if you want to have your lunch or chill out with your friends. Uh, we do have a couple different food options available to on campus here. So whether you want a poutine, you want some pizza, um, you want a pita, whatever it may be, or you want uh, your morning coffee, we do have Tim Hortons available just around the corner as well. Um, and so you have tons of different options available for you if you're looking to get a bite to eat on campus, or once again, just kind of chill out here um, in the cafeteria space as well. Alrighty, so this is our student lounge area. So this is a key spot where students come uh, to kind of chill out, hang out with their friends. Maybe they may want to work on a group assignment together and they'll use the space here. Uh, a couple different services I do want to touch on. One is kind of just around the corner and you maybe see their signs located behind me is Durham College Students Inc or DCSI for short. So they are your student government. They are the ones who uh, plan events on campus. They run clubs and societies. They assist with orientation and they also administer your health insurance plan. So you do have a health insurance plan that covers you for a variety of different services located through our campus health center or with our community partners as well or anywhere else that may accept uh, health insurance plans. You can opt out of the health insurance plan if you have pre-existing coverage. Maybe that can be through your parents or through your work, wherever you may have health insurance. That's an opportunity for you to save a couple bucks and opt out of our health insurance, but it is only if you have that pre-existing coverage. Alrighty, so in this room here, this is SALS, or the Student Academic Learning Service. It's more or less an academic support to help you the obvious academic portion of your time here at college. So in here, you would find peer tutoring. So peer tutoring is run by students in an upper year of your program, and they're able to provide you that specific support for your courses that you'll be taking. Um, there is no cost for tutoring, and you're able to take up to two subjects per semester uh, for a maximum of 12 hours between the two. We also have general teachers for more than general subjects, so math, English, sciences, things like that. So if you needed help with uh, writing a paper, for example, or trying to understand a math concept, whatever it may be, um, you can always meet with one of those teachers. You can either book an appointment with them one-on-one -on -one, or join one of their group's drop-in sessions, wherever your preference. They also have skill workshops available both online and in person that can help you with a variety of uh, soft skills that are necessary for success here at college. So for example, you take listening and note-taking, time management, general organizational tips, skill workshops like that to help bolster some of those soft skills that are necessary to be a great student. So located in this room, this is our coaching and support center. Um, and there are a variety of different student supports that are available to students, obviously, um, located within this room. Uh, some are only available about once a week or so. Some of them come down from our Oshawa campus um, and provide their services here. So you just want to make sure that when you do need those supports, um, that you know when exactly they're going to be here for you to chat with. 
Uh, so for example, we have our Access and Support Center located in here, or ASC for short. So the ASC is there for students if they require any special accommodations while they are here at college. So if, for example, uh, you need extra time on a test, a note taker in class, use of a laptop in class, whatever it may be, uh, you're able to meet with an accessibility counselor and then they're able to assess what are sort of credentials you may bring. So it could be an IEP, educational assessment, doctor's note, whatever it may be. So whether it's temporary or permanent, physical or intellectual, they're able to get you the supports that you need. Also located in here, we have a representative from our First Peoples Indigenous Center who provides services to students who are Indigenous or self-identify as Indigenous. Durham College is proud to acknowledge that we are on the traditional lands of the Mississaugas of Scugog Island, and we thank them for their uh, support in allowing us to share these sp this space with them. Uh, so they provide services in the form of general campus awareness, also with our community awareness, um, and also just general um, Indigenous supports for our Indigenous population. Um, we also do have our peer coaching um, advisors here as well. So if you found that you were kind of struggling, maybe you were a little bit stressed out, whatever anxiety you may have, you can always meet with a peer coach or one of our coaching member staffs um, to get you that support that you may need to kind of help you get through some of the more stressful times of life. I know personally, you know, exams, midterms, that can be kind of something that can bears a little bit on you. So having that opportunity, kind of just chat with someone, kind of let, let it out into the open air. Um, it can be greatly beneficial uh, just for your own mental health. Okay, so this is the small Whitby campus library. It's a quaint little place for students to come uh, primarily to get some quiet work done. As you can see, we have lots of study space available for students. So obviously, if you're going to the trade, you're not going to be doing a heck of a lot of research. So the books that you see in here are reflective of the programs that we have to offer here at our Whitby campus. Another thing to note is that 70% of all of our resources are available online uh, through the library's website. So if there's something here that you can't access, there's a good chance that you may be able to access some similar materials through the library's website. So you just log in with your student number and password and get access to all those materials for any sort of research or uh, research projects or assignments that you may have. Alrighty, so this is the computer commons. So this is more or less Durham's open computer lab. Uh, in here we have about 70 computers available for students to use. Um, any of the software that you would need for any of your classes will be loaded onto these computers for you. So if you need a CAD software, Photoshop, whatever it may be, uh, they will be loaded onto these computers for you so that you can complete your assignments without having to worry about purchasing the software and putting it on your own laptop at home. Uh, it's first come, first serve. There's no time limits. There's no booking computers. You just come in, take a seat, get to work. Uh, the only rules in here is no gaming and no food and drink. Um, you also get print credits at the start of every year, so you get $23 worth of print credits. So that gives you about a thousand uh, or so black and white double-sided pages. So save the ink at home, use our printers here, um, and you're able to print off your PowerPoints, your assignments, homework, whatever it may be. Um, and it's a great resource available to you as well. So this shop area, if you may have guessed, this is for our HVAC and gas burner programs. So in here we have a wide array of different heating, ventilation, air conditioning systems um, that are available for students to work on and practice all the different electrical and mechanical uh, work that goes into these integrated machines. So HVAC is a very lucrative business for students to potentially get into. Um, obviously if we're in Canada we have a rotating thing every year where you know in the winter and the spring you know kind of get that heat going on and then you know obviously in the summer you gotta kind of cool things down with the air conditioning system. So it would allow you to sort of learn both aspects of it. Um, and then also, you know, every single year, things will change for you. So you, it's always kind of something new for you to learn. Um, so if you do take the one year uh, HVAC program, you would then have the option to transfer into the one year uh, gas burner program to continue building up your credentials to aid you if you wanna go work in industrial, commercial, um, obviously residential, so that you have tons of options available to you as a graduate from this program. Alrighty, so right now we're located in one of our shops. This is for carpentry and building construction techniques. Uh, so these two programs, they work harmoniously together um, and they use this vast space for all of their different uh, hands-on practical applications. So located just over here to my left, your right, um, you can see that they are building up pretty much like a house. So they will work on both the interior and the exterior to basically learn all the different techniques that would go into framing a house. And then in the surrounding areas here as well, you would learn more of the kind of fine sort of craftsmanship that would go into woodworking. So students here, they've built mantles, they've built fireplaces, all that sort of stuff located here um, in the carpentry shop area. 
So this big expansive shop here, this is for our automotive program. Uh, so as you can see, there is a wide array of different vehicles available for students to work on. Um, lots of different engines, transmissions. Uh, I believe we also have an electrical car that students would be able to work on as well. Um, so there's tons of different opportunities for you to get involved in the automotive industry. Uh, so whether you want to become a mechanic, for example, or move on potentially become an aut automotive engineer, you would have all these different uh, areas to hone your skills. So you would learn everything from obviously the mechanical parts of the car, but you'd also learn about the electrical systems that go into it, the computer systems, all that jazz. Um, but there's tons of resources available for you here as a student to get involved. Uh, we also have a neat uh, kind of extracurricular program available for our auto students where they are able to participate in a kit car building. So um, they're able to bring the kit in and then you'll have students who volunteer their time along with our staff to sort of build up this kit car that eventually is sold um, to a lucky buyer. So it's definitely a great opportunity to learn um, about how to build a car from the ground up and it's just a great experience to network and work with your colleagues as well as your faculty members. So located behind me here, this is one of our unique programs that we have to offer here at Durham College and is the Elevating Devices program. Uh, so we are the only ones in Ontario that offer this type of program where students can become um, elevating apprentices and elevating mechanics through this program here. Uh, so we have two working elevators in the back as well as an escalator that students are able to work on as well. It is a highly competitive program and what that means is that uh, we have more qualified applicants than we do seats in the program. Uh, so the way we have to do it then is then we start to average, the pro or average our students um, grades for when they're applying. So make sure that when you are applying that you're making sure that you have the best possible grades to get admission to the program. But beyond that, it is a very interesting and lucrative trade option for students to consider. Alrighty, so here this is our uh, plumbing shop. So if you were interested in working within the plumbing industry, learning how to work with piping and all sorts of different water treatment areas, this would be a general area for you. A couple of interesting things I wanna to touch on. So one is located just up and behind you here. So the shop is actually two floors and the idea behind that is that you'll need to learn how to put uh, piping in through multiple floors. So we have more space located upstairs, but also areas directly where students can learn how to place piping through the different levels. Another interesting thing I want to point out is just this rock area here. Uh, so obviously if students need to learn how to uh, put piping underground, we can't go into the fields and dig holes every single time uh, students have an assignment. So we have this rock pit here, so students are able to take one of these shovels, dig up the rocks like they would if it was you know, grass, dirt, whatever, and then simulate putting the piping in underground as opposed to actually going into the real you know, world to do that. So this is just an example of how if we can't do something kind of practically outside of our campus here, we can simulate it through various different means. So the next lab area I want to show you here is our crane simulation lab. Uh, so this is primarily used for the crane operation rating technique program. Uh, so as you can see, we have a wide variety of different uh, sim models for our students to simulate, obviously using a crane. Uh, we, are also we also have a crane area located uh, just a little bit north of Stellar Drive, uh, but students are able to come into this area here and actually simulate using the crane. So they use highly sophisticated software and you can see um, the computers and the setups they have in the chairs here for um, obviously simulating all the different effects of using a crane. Um, crane operation is a very lucrative business and it's only a one year program. So if you're looking to make some money and then also trying to get back into the field pretty quickly, uh, crane operation is a great option for students. It is highly competitive, but also highly rewarding to students as well.